Have you ever found yourself saying, oh, learn my lesson. I won't be repeating that again. Oh, but you will. Because it's not about the lesson. It's about the need that went unmet. It's about the attachment to a system that is incomplete and immature that says, if you learn enough lessons, you'll get promoted to the next level. And it's about the self-sabotage that takes place to give you relief because the need's not being met. And so you look for instant gratification instead of continued fulfillment. Whew. All right. Let's start looking at the, all of this and what it is that you need to do to begin to upgrade, to move into fulfillment of who you really are. See, the only reason why you set goals, that you have dreams that you want to turn into reality, it's not for the accomplishment. It's not for the accumulation of experiences, of, of things. It is you having to bring out more of who you really are. It is who you must become in the getting of the goal. Okay, so keep that in mind as we go through this. Oh, I, I, I won't need to do that again. I've learned my lesson. Well, what was the lesson really about? You had a need and it went unmet. That's the reason why you learned the, this pain. And so <laughs> that need is still there and it's going to show up in other circumstances, around other people, in other ways. And because you didn't get it met the first time or the second or the third or the 50th or the 100th, uh, because you didn't get it met, it is still going to look for its expression. You have the need for certainty. What can you count on? You have the need for freedom, that you're going to be accepted. You have the need for significance, that there is worth to who you are. You have the need for validation, that you can use the best parts of you or even have the worst parts of you and people can be accepting. You have the need for growth and leadership, but it didn't get met. And that's where the lesson came in at. I don't know which one is uh, your unique intelligence because those six levels that I just went over, there is one of them that is primary in your life. And it is unique just to you. No one else has that. But it didn't get met. Oh, and so you will then rely on an incomplete system. It's immature. You're attached to what you experienced when you went through school. Because, see, if there were enough lessons where you'd finally get the right answer, you'd get promoted to the next level. That is not how life works. It's how school works, but not your life. And so you're looking for fuller expression of your identity, a success, looking for some place to happen and someone to happen with. But your attachment says, oh, no, we've learned that lesson. And if we learn it enough times, We'll get promoted to the next level. No. Uh, what will happen is that you will continue to attract in the people, places, and things that will point out this need is going unmet. Not your fault. But you do have to take 100% responsibility for saying this system is incomplete. It's immature, and I need to upgrade it. By the way, if this is making sense for you, I'm teaching out of a workshop that I'm going to be 
putting on Vista, Vision, Inspiration, Strategies, Tactics for Achievement. And what's the achievement? Who you really are based on your vision, not your vision of solving problems, your vision of designing a life. Now, the workshop is not open yet. That will happen mid-October. So if you want the best pricing, if you want to be notified when the workshop is open, when you, when you want to be able to experience the bonuses that are come, going to come along with the early bird admission, you can text me, one 699 7791 Text me your email address, and I will be putting you on the list for uh, the grand opening of registration. It is only going to be for a few days, 72 hours uh, to be exact, uh, where you are going to get the best of everything offered. Because the subconscious, which holds all of your patterns, and whether you are struggling with self-sabotage or moving into greater fulfillment of who you really are, which is where your success lies, it has to be rewarded. And so that then leads us to why will you self-sabotage? Well, uh, to learn my lesson, that won't happen again. You'll self-sabotage because the need is still going unmet. Well, we have to do something to alleviate that angst, that incongruency. And that's when you'll go into the partnership with the twos. Too much shopping, too much drinking, too much eating, too much bitching, moaning, whining, and complaining, uh, too much of the wrong people in your life. Yeah. And so you will go to what's familiar, what you have an awareness of. And this is what I want to caution you about. Once you have an awareness, it can never be taken away from you. And because the law of polarity says everything has two sides, there's pain and there's progress. There is stuck in struggling. There is inner fulfillment then that then shows up in your outward expression of success. You already have an awareness of how to self-sabotage. Think of it like this. Uh, once you learn how to ride a bike, that can never be taken from you. You can be off of a bike for decades, and then someone brings one along and says, oh, let's go for a ride through the park. You might be kind of wobbly, but you'll be able to get on it. And after just a little bit, off you go. There is something right now that you're not aware of, which is the reason why you keep going to self-sabotage, to, to make it okay, even if it's for just a little bit. For a lot of people, it's realizing, oh my gosh, I've got a need for something that's unique to me that is going unmet. And so that awareness brings about fulfillment. And when that awareness is missing in your bubble of brilliance, there's actually a hypnosis session I do, your bubble of brilliance. Think Glenda the Good Witch, okay? And she arrives in this bubble, and this bubble is filled with everything that is magnificent about you. And it also keeps out anything that wants to steal that magnificence, that uniqueness, that, that brilliance, you being your very best. It keeps out anything that wants to steal that from you. Well, your bubble of brilliance has holes in it. And so you're leaking, you're leaking your focus, you're leaking your fulfillment, your motivation, your dreams all over the place. Again, not your fault because someone came along as you were developing and they poked holes in your bubble of brilliance to where um, they could actually take from you for their benefit at your expense. Well, it's time for us to be able to repair. But what happens when you self-sabotage is that it takes that bubble of brilliance because self-sabotage takes from you. It, it 
steals your focus, it kills your motivation, it destroys your dreams. And so that self-sabotage, because it's taking the best from you, and in its place, it's giving you instant gratification, your bubble of brilliance begins to shrink and it begins to diminish and it it gets smaller. It begins to look like a, a, a raisin, okay, instead of expanding and and looking absolutely phenomenal. There, there, there's a reason why they call it fruits of the spirit. If you think of a, a piece of fruit, how it ripens and it expands expands until its fullest expression. No, you're drying up. And that's what happens every time you self-sabotage is your familiar zone, relying on the awareness, but in a way where it takes from you, gets smaller and tinier and it shrinks and it diminishes you because it's actually taking away the powerful pieces of you. And then it lowers your resistance to the next lesson that needs to be learned because you're relying on an incomplete, immature system for promotion, but it's promoting you in pain, not progress. Just because you know better doesn't mean you'll do better unless you're aware of what it is that you need to do to express yourself at your healthiest. And then from there, rely on a system of promotion for progress. And when self-sabotage shows up, you realize what you really need based on the first step of that unmet need. Okay. If I can be of assistance, if you're like, Dawn, you know, it's not just taking a a class or a workshop, although I would be so honored you joining me in Vista. But if you're like, I I need to go beyond that, then go to dawnlandrum.com and let's have a conversation to see if I might be the one to assist you. But at the very least, Join me in Vista to where you can get the foundation for the fulfillment of who you really are. It's time to fill your bubble of brilliance with all the best, magnificent pieces of you for progress.